Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Welcome back to a new video. We are starting off the vlog in a freaking teepee. Look at this. Isn't it crazy? I want to give you guys like a full tour, um, maybe after we clean it up a bit just because everything's everywhere and we are checking out at 11 a.m., 10 a.m. So our plan is to just like take some stuff to our car and then I think in like the lobby area, I think they're serving coffee right now. So we're gonna go see because Ryan's like dead and he still has to take a work call. And then um, we'll come back here. I wanna film some TikToks because the outside area is super cool. And then we are going to officially check out and then head to breakfast and get our day started in Marfa. I guess I didn't even say that. We are in Marfa, Texas, and it's both of our first times being here. Yesterday, we were in Big Bend, and Ryan played out one of his bucket list golf courses, and we also went to hike the Santa Elena Canyon. So if you guys want to see that vlog, I will link it down below. But first, coffee. Did a little outfit change and shot some content outside of the teepees. They look so cool. If you guys are interested in seeing the photos, you can go on my Instagram. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I'm also going to be posting a lot of like short video content on my TikTok. So go follow me over there too. Ryan's doing some work on the bed. So we're going to wait for him to get some breakfast, do the little teepee tour. Maybe in the meantime, I'll show you guys the bathroom. So let's head over there. Here's the bathhouse. They have a sink right here, some good smelling soap. We got, again, a normal toilet, so we appreciate that. Not having to pee in like a little hole. And then on the back side, we actually have some showers. So we showered here last night and they were great. The hot water came fast, so not bad at all. Here's the little slit that you walk in from. And then once you walk in, this is the view. So here's the day bed in case you have more than two people. Here is the actual bed and I think it's heated. I'm pretty sure Ryan told me that he tried it out last night. That's what that little guy is for. And then it comes with a radio. There's a nice leather couch over there to set your stuff down or just to chill out. And then we have these robes that we actually didn't get to put on. Um, but this fire was such a vibe. It is propane and it's really easy to use. So we did not sleep with it on, but we had it going for quite a bit. So here is a full view of the teepee. saying bye to the teepee because we only were able to get it for one night so we're actually switching to a safari tent tonight which i'll give you the full tour of that but it is definitely a little bit less bougie i don't think it comes with a fire pit in it but what do we rate this place like i think it was really cool yeah, overall pretty good i was so tired last night I yeah up anywhere so yeah that's true like i feel like last night i wish we had the safari tent so that we could really enjoy the tp tonight but it just didn't work out that way since yesterday was thursday today is friday so obviously on the weekends it's going to be booked out um but we were able to get it on a thursday like last week i think i booked it so definitely recommend this place it's honestly not that expensive but a safari tent's definitely cheaper so if you guys are looking for a more affordable place to stay in marfa then definitely check that one out got the car all packed and now we are off to explore Marfa. We got in late last night so we didn't even see what the city looks like um, but first stop is do your thing coffee and we're just gonna get a little breakfast in us probably some caffeine and then we'll start touring. It literally took us two minutes to get down this road and pretty much everything I've seen on vlogs about Marfa are all on the same street which is kind of nice.
I love it here. Like I was just telling Ryan, it's like a photo shoot dream just because of all the white walls, all the beautiful green cactuses. So we just walked through Highland Street, which is kind of like the main road. We just walked through all the cute stores and there's some art galleries as well. So while we're here in Marfa, we decided to stop by the Marfa Municipal Golf Course. Uh, I saw it on Eric Hendricks Lane channel and it's supposed to be the highest in Texas. So look around, pretty nice. It's pretty easy. It's like a fun course to play and walk. got done seeing the Chinati installation and it was really cool. It actually went a lot further down than we expected, but it was pretty windy out there. Like it hasn't been too windy except for when we were out there and it was like a lot of like dust and I guess sand. So we were just getting really dusty. So we ended up just seeing half of them, but they were really, really cool. It's definitely like minimalism. So not a lot going on, but I personally think it's really cool. But we are both pretty dehydrated and <laughs> It's getting hot, like I feel like we went during a really, really good season weekend. It's currently um, March, what's the date? March, March 4th. And I feel like if we went like a little bit later, it would have just been too hot, even in Big Bend. Um, so I personally think we went at a good time, but we were talking to a store owner and he was saying that their peak tourist time is like a couple weeks after today because of like spring break and everything like that. But I was just like, I feel like it's getting, hotter by the day. It's 2 p.m. and we're kind of hungry, so I think we're gonna try to get some late lunch around here. just got done eating at Paraye Bar and we got some margarita pizza and we put some prosciutto on top of it. It was really good, but quite small. I mean, it was a good snack, but I feel like we probably needed a little bit more food, but that's okay. Um, we'll just get something else later down the road, but Ryan's just running into the gas station really quick to get some Reese's because he's addicted. But I did want to mention that um, when I was reading like a lot of blog posts, just researching about Marfa and stuff like that, people said that you should come on the weekends because normally on the weekdays, like Monday through Wednesday, I think I read, the stores aren't open and a lot of restaurants are not open. So just try to make sure that you plan your trip kind of like closer to the weekend, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of thing, um, so that you can make sure to see everything that you wanna see. It's currently 2.46 and I think we can check into our safari tent at 3 p.m. It's still in the same area as El Cosmico. I think I said this previously, but the TB just wasn't available for two nights, so I wanted to like experience that. Also, I got this cucumber lemonade from that pizza place and it's delicious. I'm like obsessed with lemonade, especially like on a hot day. It's it's definitely getting hotter. It's 86 degrees out right now. And in the morning it was pretty cold. It was like 50 or something. It's 79 right now. It's 79. Your car's saying 86. No. Yeah, well, watch the 79. It still feels pretty hot, but this morning, what was it? Like 42. 42? It did feel pretty cold. So just make sure if you come during this time just to bring a good amount of clothes to you know sleep in if it gets cold in the tent you'll be okay and then the day you can wear like tank tops shorts and everything like that 
We drove 30 minutes from Marfa to see Prada Marfa. And I don't even think this is actually in Marfa, but if you didn't know, this is a Prada store in the middle of nowhere. It's not actually open, but it does have like a display. So we're gonna take a couple photos, got my little outfit change. Not sure if you can hear me, it's kind of windy out here, but this top is for Meshki, shorts are a gold day, and then this gold chain is actually from Amazon. Did another outfit change, gotta get that content. Um, we actually went by a really cute store on the way back from um, Prada Marfa and it's called, what's it called, Rabo Marfa, I think? And I got a really bougie candle and I'm really excited about it because I feel like I needed a little souvenir. Although I do wanna get a t-shirt from El Cosmico because we have been around to like all of like the you know main boutiques and stuff and we haven't really found any like good trucker hats or good t-shirts so I really think that El Cosmico had like the best variety so I think we're gonna get like a few t-shirts or hats or whatever um but we stopped by Cactus Liquors it just looks so cool like the building itself so I'm gonna head in and check it out Four fifty one, we're gonna go check into the safari tent and we'll probably check out their merch while we're in there too. Do you know what we're like, leggings and stuff? Maybe we get an XL? I don't know. I don't think there was an XL. It's just as I wear. It's so plain too, you know? Kind of corn, it's minimal. Hmm? Yeah, go. Here is our home for the night. We got number 12 safari tent. So we got towels, we got a fan, got some outlets over there, a lamp, I'm pretty sure. Again, this is a heated bed. Another blanket, we got this light up here. It's pretty nice. What do you think compared to the TP? It's honestly a little more practical. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's just no fire pit, but still. It's pretty nice still. Yeah, I like it. It's currently 6.35 and we are headed to dinner. We're gonna go to Margaret's because one of the store owners actually recommended this place and the way he was describing the food here was like really good. He definitely sold me on it, so we'll let you guys know how it is. We just got done with dinner and it was really, really good. One of the dishes had this like miso sweet potato kind of thing. And I'm just like, I need to make that when I get home. Because I literally have miso paste and one sweet potato. Where's the man? Oh, now I see it. I see it, it's cool. We're just, I want to say this is downtown, right? This has to be. Um, Hotel, Pasi Hotel Pasiano is right there. Margaret's was right there, the green sign, and um, I want to say that's... Paisano. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> you're saying Paisano, like yeah, Italian. I don't, I don't know what, <laughs> why do we say that. Um, but then that thing down there is, dang it, I read what it was earlier today. Is it the county, county house? Do you know what it is? Uh, yeah, they said it earlier, I probably said too. Me too. Okay, well, there I think we're going to try to go to a brewery. Um, Planet Marfa, we're gonna check it out.
we were back at our tent now and we went to two bars we did planet marfa which is more of like a beer garden kind of thing it was really cool ryan found this like tp yeah. underground oh, thing pretty I didn't well, think we were allowed to go in until I just uh, went in. Until, oh, I didn't even see that at first. Oh, really? Yeah. And then we went to Hotel St. George. We just, like, got dessert. Brulee. Yeah. I was really hyped that I saw creme brulee on the menu because we just wanted something sweet, you know? And it tasted like shit. Like, actually, it was really bad. Damn. Why? How do you really feel about it? I really feel that it was not good because yeah. it was, like, not custardy. It was, like, more, like, Pretty. eggy and textured. And I was like, mm, this is not creme brulee. I mean, it is, but not good currently um but we had a good night and it's our last day here in marfa here in west texas we're gonna get up early tomorrow and head back on the road back to austin and pick up sophie this trip kind of like got me out of my comfort zone because i feel like i'm not really like a camping kind of girl i mean it's stuff like glamping i told her that you know the a-frame isn't much different than real camping because we're kind of like without i guess you have wi-fi yeah you have wi-fi and like a fridge but you still like hear all the outside yeah exactly kind of yeah thing. you can bring your own flashlight and hang it in the tent and stuff like as long as you're near a campground you probably have wi-fi you know it's like yeah. pretty much the same thing just you don't have like you know a screen over your head instead of yeah glass you know? and if you guys didn't already watch our big bed vlog it's already out by the time this vlog goes up so mm -hmm. definitely subscribe for just more texas content in general we live in austin so it's a fun time i do weekly vlogs and hopefully a lot of travel content in the summer because we're gonna do um. some more traveling so i'm gonna end the vlog here i will also make a highlight on my instagram for all the instagram stories i'm posting so golf wall will be over there and on tiktok they're both so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in my next video bye